can we skip to the good part? It doesn't really work that way. What do you mean? I did the thing with the hand. Yeah, no, that's that's not actually real. It's not? So you have to actually finish it. I do? Yeah. Huh. Or we do whatever we want, and it's pretty cool. It overlooks, oh my god, it's hot in here. It overlooks the backyard. Once we fix those blinds, what have you done? Opening up the doors. Oh. Uh, and I have a little doggy door. So much room for activities. And this is the after. So we've been living here for a, about a month or so, and we've already gone through the process of ripping out the carpet that was in there and painting the walls white. So right off the bat, it looks so much better, but there is a lot of work to do. You can see with the paint drops on here, we've already been using this as an art room. So it's kind of also just our little storage area, not the best. The main idea here is to continue the wood floors into the art room. Now I know we do have that sill there, but we want to make it look as seamless as possible. And we also want to cover up some of these random holes. With the room finally cleaned out, it was then time to move on to prep work. So when we had carpet here and ripped it out, there were some tack strips. We pried those up and they actually left some pretty deep grooves and some raised edges. So I'm just knocking those down with an angle grinder. This wasn't necessary, but we did use some concrete repair. Don't know whose idea that was. But we did knock those down after filling in the hole so that it was nice and flat. We then moved on onto some self-leveling compound here. So this is a quick reap mix. You just add some water, it's kind of like a pancake type consistency, squeegee it out. And once you let it sit for a little while, it'll self-level. And you can see right here, it does a pretty good job at that. Flooring, we decided to go with Lowe's Smart Core Ultra Luxury Vinyl Planks. Now these are in the Chaparral Oak design and we absolutely love these. These are all throughout our house. We completely ripped out all of the carpet. And since these are a man-made product, you did see me there getting a couple piles together to kind of mix up the designs and the patterns because you definitely don't want to have too many of the same boards right by each other. It just doesn't look as natural as it should. You see me here starting off off of the wall and that is because I want those lines to be matching with the rest of the house. It did make it a little bit difficult with the sill, but as you can see, I did a great job and time to celebrate with a little air guitar. Three weeks later. Many. So no DIY project is complete without a set of hurdles and we definitely had our fair share here with this one. The amount of product that we had left over from our original purchase took us to a little under halfway and that meant that we needed about two to three more boxes so that we can complete our project. Unfortunately, these are some special order floors and we could not find them anywhere. We actually physically went to about five Lowe's seeing if they just magically had them on their shelves. And one actually did. One person that morning returned three boxes. So somebody was looking out for us. We picked them all up and we brought them home and finished the project. We even picked up some of these baseboards that match all of the baseboards throughout our house. And later on that day, we also went to Ikea and found these two Alex drawers on sale in the bump and ding section, as well as this door that we ended up using as a makeshift shelf. Uh, we're definitely going to be replacing this and we actually are doing it later on in this video, but this was our setup for maybe about a month or so. So we're going to get this out here shortly. But you kind of know the direction that we're going in. This is going to be our area. Hannah has some easels, going to make some space for that. This is also kind of the dog's room when it gets too hot and we leave for the day. So let's go ahead, get you set up, and we will remove this shelf.
that the cookies are like in a fragile state. So thanks to that beautiful reenactment there, you can see just how easy it is to clean off these laminate countertops. Now that was some dried paint from a previous project. All I had to do was just get a chisel, scrape it off and wipe it off with a towel. It was that easy. And that's also why we chose to use it in the art room here because Hannah is definitely going to be getting some paint or other uh, materials on this top. And we just wanted to make sure that it wipes down nice and easy. Now, if you were paying attention earlier in the video, you'll notice that this was actually the original countertop that came in the room. All we did was take it out. We put these Alex drawers on each side to kind of give us a little desk area. Also to have a space to put all of her uh, art supplies. The only problem is that it was a little bowed since it was so long. And you can see here, we're looking at probably about an eighth inch of a gap. And that was very easily fixed by making a quick run down over to Lowe's, picking up this shelf bracket and attaching it. I got rid of a lot of the bowing and now it's time to move on to the fun part. Just like that, we are all done. The art room is finally set up and it looks amazing. The only thing left to do is to grab you guys and take you on a tour. So, you just watched these plants go up on the wall. I just wanted to point out really fast that these plant hangers were actually handmade by my grandma. She watches the YouTube channel, so I just want to send a quick thank you. We love them and we haven't killed the plants in them yet, but we are trying. Over on this side of the room, in this IKEA Alex drawer, we have some of Hannah's art supplies. And in the other one, some camera equipment as well as some cables. Now we do use this room as a dog room whenever it does get hot, because we do live in an area where it gets to be over 100 degrees quite frequently. So having a dog bed, nice fan, and also lots of water as well as access to the outside is very important. We also went ahead and installed a TV monitor in here. So if we wanted to listen to music or watch YouTube or watch a TV show while doing artwork, we can definitely do that. Underneath here, since I did use this as an office for a little while, while we were still building out our other guest room and office, I installed a keyboard tray, which we now use to hold some of Hannah's bigger artwork if it's drying or some paper. One of the last things that we did to this room and probably one of the most important is install this roll up sunshade here. Now everybody can sleep in in the morning and we're all happy. Well, that's all we have for you on this week's video. We thank you for liking and subscribing. We are a brand new YouTube channel so that lets them know that you think we're cool and they should too. Also, while you're at it, consider watching this video. Until then, we'll see you next time.